Hey guys, I'm back and today this is what I was working on and I kind of fell into a dilemma. So if any of you guys out there, maybe Brian Knight uh, watching my videos, maybe if you guys could help me. So I ended up making the outer piece and the inner piece and I bent it here and I did a three quarter be, uh, bend back because part of the inner fender well was rotted as well. So my question is inside here once this top piece goes on is there wood that goes in there and the reason i'm asking for the uh the soft top over here on the driver's side those are factory holes that go in there so i don't know if like the wood there was a piece of small wood that went in there and then it got tacked in and then the tacks obviously held but i couldn't figure out if there was wood, this the driver's side's not that bad, how you'd be able to get that wood out. And I can't go any further on this side because I've got to bend this lip down. So if I weld it on, I'm not going to be able to beat it over the wood. But this is what I worked on today. And I got it to fit pretty, pretty nice. But if I go on this side, you guys can see it tight better. So... You can see what I added in. And then I had to add a new, This that piece was all out of one piece. So I bent a 90 back towards me, a three quarter inch. And then the top, I bent an inch and a quarter inch. And then I put another strip on top, like factory had, that was spot welded in that holds the cage nuts. But I can't figure out if wood goes in there. And the reason I say that is something has to attach to the soft top. But this crude body that I got, that this other guy made out of California, there is wood in there. But this looks nothing like factory, obviously, but I don't know if wood does go in there. So if anybody could kind of help me out on that, I'd greatly appreciate it because I'm kind of at a standstill of tying that in. And then once... Once I kind of get that, I could start moving because everything's on a, a level playing field. Like that's pretty straight, but I haven't touched this side. And then if you come over here on this side, I mean, that line doesn't get any straighter with the fender. So I think I'm onto the right path. And since I built this piece out of one piece and I folded this edge over and obviously a half inch edge on the bottom that goes underneath, I might be able to pull it off. Oh, hold on. Yeah. So that's the top. So that's how I did it. I built my the cage nuts kind of like factory, but then there's two pieces of metal. Like I said, this is what you see there is the, the inch and a quarter overhang. And then this is an inch and a quarter strap that got welded on like factory. So this piece, this is the one I was, I made in one shot. So what I did is I made a template off the existing one with no bends. Okay, so I drew it on a piece of construction paper and I drew a line on all the way around. Then I mic this and I added on to each side of my template and I put all my bends where they needed to be. So that is according to the original. So come over here and you guys can see how I did the layout. So this is the layout. So this is the first bend. This is gonna be the second bend once I put wood or whatnot in it. And then this is a first bend, this is the bottom. And this got bent to 90 and then it got cut here, and then this got bent back. So you guys can see that's where I'm at. And then the outside, I mean, it turned out pretty good. And then why I did it, I'm gonna mirror image. So now that I have that template, I already have it over here and it's drawn out on sheet metal. So I know it's that's gonna be the exact same size as the other one. So I put in the photos the but this is the original so you guys can kind of see the comparison 
between the two. And I mean, pretty spot on. But it's just, it's just metal. I mean, and see this side here, it was rotted pretty bad. And the other side is too, but the other side is not, I didn't have to, I don't have to replace the inner on that side. It's pretty good. I could just do a patch up in there. And then obviously down in the corner on the floor and then down here as well, because that's the way factory was. But um, my biggest deal is to see if that needs wood. And then from that point, I can get this welded on and then I'll go on to the, the box here. So this is the, the B pillar itself and that's totally shot. So I'll remake all that, but um, I need the wood so I can, cause this, this kind of is self-explanatory when it lays in because I have it all marked where it's supposed to go, but where the bracket for the soft top goes, there's a weld and there's a weld on this. So I know exactly where it needs to lean. So if I can get this piece on, then the rest of it, I just start, you know, kind of manipulating. But I don't know if you guys can see in there, but so I, I bent that, that's on that, radical arc of the inner fender well and then I'll end up welding on the bottom side too the inside I welded on the top because that was easier to get to but when I take the rear boot off I'll go ahead and weld it on this side too and then I'll grind it so I mean I, you don't have to but I don't know I take pride in my work so I kind of want it to look like it wasn't welded so that's that's what I'm going for today it's been a long day. I mean, that's all I did was fabricate and take measurements. That side's gonna be a little bit easier. I do have, like I said, the paper templates where this side, the template that I made, I was making everything today, the template, the panel. So it should be pretty smooth sailing once I get to that side, but I wanna do one side at a time so I can pull measurements off that side that's actually still halfway decent and then get this side done. And then when I cut that side, I can come back to this side. So if any of you guys out there um, have one of these, know anybody who has one of these, I'm still looking for the measurements. Um, back here, I'm not too concerned about. I do have the bottom and the door opening. I'm not too concerned about it as of right now because the front bulkhead is on order, but I would like to get the measurement that goes from the top of the V-post across because that side's flimsy. This side was really flimsy. So I need to know if I need to put a bar in there to spread it out before I weld these in too. So that's my critical measurement right now. Uh, but yeah, if anybody knows anybody, hey, open up the doors and take a peek in here and see if there's wood in there or something or take a picture and Send it over to my email if you would, um, or get in contact with me. I I really would appreciate it. But uh, this is I don't know. It's just a passion that I'm doing. You know, I mean, I do do this for a living. I repair and stuff like that. But I love working with metal, and I mean, it just I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. So if you guys like what you guys are seeing, or if you guys have any comments, um, or are interested in something go ahead and you know comment in in the lower box of this video and um, I reach out to all my customers and you know my followers I you know I'll answer all your guys's questions so and I do have a couple others that I need to get back with on the bead roller so I'm thinking about doing another one on the bead roller and kind of taking it apart and dissecting it so you guys can see how it works but stay tuned and I'll keep moving on this Jaguar so you guys will get to see the finished product.